Well, the United Kingdom has become the first country to approve the Pfizer-BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine. The vaccine will be made available across the UK from next week, with priority groups being care home residents, health and care staff, the elderly and those who are ill. Interpol has, in meanwhile, warned law enforcement agencies across its member countries to prepare for possible forgery, theft and illegal advertising of COVID-19 and flu vaccines. There's a ray of hope in the medical field with the approval and rollout of the Pfizer vaccine, which Britain's Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency says will provide 95% protection against COVID-19. The Pfizer biotech was the first vaccine to record positive results from the final stages of testing. The genetic makeup of the vaccine, known as mRNA, uses fragments of genetic codes from the coronavirus as a way to build immunity for the body to fight off the virus. UK government medical advisors explain how different demographics will be prioritized to receive the newly approved Pfizer vaccine, with care home residents and adults being the first in line. This recommendation has only been given by the MHRA following the most rigorous scientific assessment of every piece of data. One of the challenges that many nations may face in accessing the vaccine is the fact that it must be stored around minus 70 degrees Celsius. It will also need to be transported in special boxes packed in dry ice. The vaccine can be stored in a fridge for five days. Through a tweet, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson hailed the move stating that, and I quote, it's the protection of vaccines that will ultimately allow us to reclaim our lives and get the economy moving again. On the other hand, Kenya is still conducting its research on the virus through the Kemri Wellcome Trust in partnership with Oxford University and AstraZeneca. The other countries involved in the Chadox-1 vaccine include UK, Brazil, South Africa, Japan, USA and India. Chadox vaccine has an advantage in that it can be distributed under the normal supply chain conditions that we use for our vaccines here. The government says they are open to all research and are not locking out any option. A steering committee is being set up to determine which vaccine is most suitable for the country after the trial phases, the infrastructure which will be used to deliver the vaccine and the risks involved. Safety of the vaccine, its immunogenicity or the ability of the vaccine to trigger an immune response and of course its efficacy. With fresh development in the scientific field, Interpol has also warned governments to be vigilant, stating that criminal organizations are also planning to infiltrate or disrupt supply chains. Helen Aura, NTV.